Huge news, everyone. To win the war up north and ensure the safety for the 80,000-plus evacuated Israelis from their homes up north so that they can return to their homes in the north of Israel, Israel must liberate southern Lebanon from Hezbollah with a siege. In order to accomplish that, Israel must take over all of southern Lebanon, destroy the bridges over the Litani River, so that it will make it much harder for Hezbollah to transfer forces, food, or aid to its remaining forces hiding out in southern Lebanon. And then, only then, should we be sending in the IDF ground forces to eliminate the remaining Hezbollah forces. And then the IDF remains in southern Lebanon up to the Litani River to ensure that Hezbollah and all the Shiite Muslims who are associated with Hezbollah, who live there in southern Lebanon, who even the Lebanese Christians and the Jews Christians hate in Lebanon, well, they should never return to southern Lebanon. Not to terrorize us, not to terrorize the other Lebanese citizens. Interestingly, if you've ever looked at the map of the tribes of of Israel, the Jewish tribal lands of Asher and Naphtali are in the areas up to the Litani River, today called southern Lebanon. It seems like God above knew what territorial borders the Jewish people need in order to live safely in our homeland. So it was Jewish back then, we have to make it Jewish again to make ourselves safe today. This might not happen today, tomorrow, this year, or even in five years, but it is inevitable to happen for Israel to have a safe, secure future with true deterrence against our enemies who don't care about the lives of their own civilians, their own family members. They only care about land. And it's time that we, the Jewish state of Israel, make our enemies pay for their aggression against us by taking back our land and them losing it. And if anyone says that international law is a problem, then I'm sure we can find the international legal experts who will explain that since the state of Lebanon allowed Hezbollah, right, to be an occupying military force, they're a foreign force, in southern Lebanon, Lebanon willingly gave up its sovereignty there to begin with. They're not sovereign. We have to take it over to protect ourselves. This is the price our enemies pay for waging war against us in trying to annihilate us. If they don't want to lose land, then don't wage an unprovoked war and massacre us. Simple. The good news is that the process has begun. Official Israel is coming up with the plans to take over southern Lebanon. Watch this. כן, מגי, נתניהו מבהיר שלא תהיה הפוגה בלחימה ושכל מסע ומתן יתנהל תחת אש, אבל הכותרת המשמעותית שאנחנו מביאים הערב היא שישראל הולכת כנראה על חידוש רצועת הביטחון בדרום לבנון. גורם בפמליית ראש הממשלה אומר לנו בהקשר הזה, לא יהיה פתרון בצפון ללא רצועת ביטחון בתוך שטח לבנון שצה"ל נוכח בה. בלי זה התושבים פשוט לא יחזרו לבתיהם. הקמת הרצועה תתבצע באחת משתי דרכים, הסדר מדיני, ואם חיזבאללה לא יסכים לכך, מרון קרקעי ותפיסת השטח. בנוסף, הגורם מבהיר שישראל כבר לא מסתפקת בהחלטה 1701 כפשוטה ודורשת שיפורים להחלטה הזו. לא נסתפק בסילוק חיזבאללה מעבר לליטני, הוא אומר. בחלק מהמקומות, כמו במטולה, תוואי הנהר קרוב מאוד לגבול ויידרשו שם פתרונות נוספים. התושבים לא יחזרו כי נגיד להם, הם יחזרו רק כשירגישו בטוחים באמת. אז השורה התחתונה, מגי, היא שלאחר שחיזבאללה גורם לפינוי חבל ארץ מיושביו במשך שנה בתוך תחומי... מדינת ישראל, לבנון הולכת לשלם על כך כנראה באובדן שטחים ריבוניים שלה. אלה תוצאות מעשיו של נסראללה שאוהב להתהדר בתואר מגן לבנון. That's it, folks. This is how we win. Despite the world pressure and despite the hypocrisy, immorality and injustice of the world. They never enforced United Nations Resolution 1701 for 18 years. For 11 months, they've not done anything to pressure Hamas, Iran, Qatar to release our hostages. They haven't done anything to stop Hezbollah from shooting shooting rockets at us. Only now that Israel is responding militarily, now the international community is waking up to stop us from defending ourselves? Uh -uh Uh-uh-uh, folks. The world is immoral. We have to do 
what we have to do to protect ourselves and also be able to protect the whole freedom-loving world from this growing immorality at the heights of the international political world. Am Yisrael Chai, we are the front line of the whole freedom-loving world, everyone. Stand with the Jewish people, stand with the Jewish state of Israel. Shalom from the beautiful ancestral home of the Jewish people. Well, we're back and we're never leaving. If you are not yet a subscriber to our Pulse of Israel videos, go to pulseofisrael.com and click to subscribe where you get the belief-based politically incorrect correct truth, the inspiring politically incorrect truth like nowhere else. And we're a donor-based organization. We need your support to get out there since we're heavily censored and shadow banned on all social media. Every time, click on the donate button on PulseOfIsrael.com. Shalom, everyone, and thanks for watching. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.